This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a very exciting guest with us. She is uh, Soshi Bardikajian. She is the CFO of Greencraft, Inc., uh, they trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol GKIT. Soshi, thank you and welcome to the show. Yes, hello. Hey, give our listeners a little bit of background on yourself and uh, your company, and then I want to get into some uh, Q&A today. Sure. Uh, my name is Soshi Bradikajian, and I'm the CFO for Greencraft. Greencraft was established in 2008 to offer alternative fuel uh, trucks um, for the um, transportation industry in the United States. And um, we offer alternative fuels such as natural gas vehicles, uh, propane vehicles, and hybrid electric vehicles. And we're also working on all electric vehicles. Wow, that's a, a very exciting. You know, I read a, a lot about your company six months before you guys came on the show. I'm really excited to have you on here today. You know, you guys do a lot over there. Uh, so what kind of products are you guys working on right now to better the environment? So currently we have alternative fuel trucks that run on natural gas and propane in classes uh, three, four, five, six, and 7. And uh, we also offer... Um, conversion systems for existing vehicles such as Isuzu or Ford and our products um, are using alternative fuel natural gas that's available in the United States and um, they are good for the environment they have clean emissions and and an overall win-win for everybody you know I wanted to really applaud your guys as company you guys are out of Santa Ana California in 2014 you guys did roughly around 2.4 million in revenues in 2015 you guys jumped all the way up to 12.3 million in revenues you know what gives on this what why such the big jump uh, basically, we've been working on the alternative fuel products, and we did uh, different projects that uh, accounted for the sales um, jump in 2015, and we're all looking into doing alternative fuel products um, for the transportation industry, like for fleets and for uh, municipalities, um, so uh, that's why we had a a great year in 2015. You know, you guys are really in a great market space, and let's talk about that, municipalities. Tell my listeners what's going on in the state of California where so many of those trucks on the road have to fit certain emissions. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Sure. Um, in the past, um, it's all been like gasoline or diesel, mostly diesel in the transportation industry, especially in California. And um, the California agencies are putting mandates for, especially for cities, that they have to use alternative fuel. And um, our products fit their need because there is no other uh, product like ours that can do the um, functionality of, for example, a, a truck that needs to do um, uh, landscaping or a truck that needs to have uh, toolboxes on it uh, for the cities. And they all have to be alternative fuel. And also, um, the state of California has different incentives um, if people have, like, a diesel truck that um, is old and, you know, it, it needs to be replaced. They do provide incentives if you buy an alternative fuel truck. And in the past, diesel and gasoline fuel prices were uh, up and down, mostly higher. Absolutely. And, um, and natural gas um, and propane are actually um, lower in cost, so it it saves money for the municipalities and also any fleets who want to use alternative fuel. How is the competition in this market space? Are you guys the only one in this space in California? Can you elaborate a little bit of where the competition is and, and how big is this market? Sure. In California, we're actually um, the only um, manufacturer that has alternative fuel trucks in these classes and actually in the United States we're probably the only one that's offering alternative fuel trucks in these certain classes and um, 
the California market is huge, and also in California there's uh, a lot of companies who use these trucks for deliveries and um, all, for uh, plumbing and for um, furniture deliveries and refrigeration. All kinds of companies need these trucks. And uh, in the whole United States, the market is approximately 400,000 a year of of these units, um, different classes, and and that's why we're in this market. Um, and conservatively, we're trying to uh, get a certain percentage, which we feel we can because we offer alternate fuel trucks. Well, I think you guys are on on your way. I mean, going from 2.4 million in revenues from 2014 to 12.3 million in revenues in 2015, I definitely applaud your company. My guest today is Greencraft Incorporated. They trade on the OTCQB under G. Uh, K-I-T. Now, let me ask you this, Soshi. Uh, how is Greencraft positioned in the market, and what does the future look like for the rest of 2016 and 2017? Well, Greencraft is ahead of um, everyone in this class um, of trucks and um, natural gas and propane. Um, a lot of people don't know that they actually function um, and can do the same thing gasoline or diesel does. And diesel has a lot of emissions um, that has carcinogens and um, particulate matter where uh, natural gas and propane are much cleaner and um, it's good for the environment. And we also have it available in the United States where we don't have to import foreign oil. So we are positioned um, ahead of everyone in this industry, and we believe that it's going to be taking off um, tremendously in the future. Two questions I have for you before I let you go. What is near zero emissions, and how is your uh, duty sweeper that runs on uh, American and natural gas uh, tell us about those two products, if, if you would. So basically, the um, government agencies have um, said that uh, near-zero emissions um, vehicles um, are good, and they're uh, willing to provide more incentives when it's near-zero. Near-zero means that um, the NOx um, standard, uh, which is 0 0.20 right now, near-zero would make it 0 0.02 or less and we're working on engines uh, for our trucks right now with products that meet near zero emissions so the NOx is the most important um, gas that manufacturers want to reduce and the government agencies want to reduce so um, our products are going to be meeting that and your do and the duty sweeper how, how, is that one of your big products uh, well we worked on um, a sweeper truck in in the past where we um, modified it with our system so that it runs on natural gas. Um, it was it was an Isuzu vehicle, but our trucks can also be used as a sweeper because we offer a cabin chassis with a certain fuel, and you can add any type of uh, box on the back. It could be like a steak bed, a refrigeration box, or a sweeper, or anything. So we offer the base, and you can make it whatever you want. My guest today is Soshi Bardikashi, and she is the CFO of Greencraft uh, Incorporated. They trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol GKIT. In closing, Soshi, is there anything that you'd like to get out to my listeners that you and I didn't get a chance to talk about? Um, I believe we covered everything to let people know uh, what Greencraft is doing, and it's actually good for the environment, and the cities are mandated, you know, to uh, use alternative fuel only, and we offer the products, so. Well, I appreciate you coming on the show today. Our guest has been Greencraft Incorporated. They do trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol G. K-I-T, the revenues from 2014 to 2015 were up over 500%. Uh, their stock price is around 26 cents. My personal opinion, I think they're very undervalued. Soshi, thank you for coming on the show today. We're gonna check back with you in a couple of months to see how you guys are doing. Sure, you're welcome. Thanks for having me.